Hi, in this video we'll be looking at how to use your wildcard option in running or creating queries in design view. So we're going to go to create and then we go to query design and I'm going to add my items table here. We have two tables, items and shelf. Items, add, close. And uh, let's say we're going to go to item name here. And uh, we're going to look at the date bot. Let's say we want to find all the items with a certain name or beginning with a certain name. And how the wildcard character works, let me show you this first. If we take the wildcard character as the asterisk, what I will do here under item name in the criteria uh, section I will simply put the asterisk what this will do is return everything in the row so if it's used by itself that's the wildcard character asterisk it will return every single record or data within your table so let's run this and see how that works all right so notice it returns all 10 um, of the items that I have or records that I have in my table however if I want to I could restrict this a little bit so I'm just going to make a note. We have two items here beginning with the letter B, bath, soap, and bread. So let's try something here. I'm going to go back to design view, right-click design view, and uh, I'm going to change this criteria a little bit. I want to zoom in a little bit so you can see that uh, what I'm doing here. So I'm going to right-click and uh, zoom, and let's say I'm going to change the font a little bit as well. Okay, size, good. So let's say we want to restrict my result to those items that begin with letter B. All I have to do here, put the, ast the B, and then we have the asterisk followed by the B, following the B. And this will allow us to see all the items that begins with the letter B. And what the asterisk will do here, it will return everything else. So whatever other characters come after the B, doesn't matter as long as it begins with the letter B. So that's how the wildcard character works here. So let's see, and don't worry about this like. Uh, Microsoft Access automatically puts that there and put the B, B asterisk in quotation marks, but you don't need to worry about that too much. It's really the same thing. So you can go ahead on the Quire Tools design and run, and you now notice that you have all your items that begin with B. And you can do the same for the ending and you know you can find novel ways of using the asterisk here as a wildcard character. All right, so if this video actually helped you with wildcards, uh, please remember to like the video and also please remember to leave a comment and to subscribe. Thank you for watching.